Hi. <laughs> Welcome to uh, the feral art portion of the Fluid of Oz collaboration. Um, I know I was supposed to dress up, but I just, I can't. I don't have anything. So I'll just be the Wicked Witch out of green makeup. Um, tonight I have a big old canvas sitting in front of me. And uh, my inspiration for this pour is the horse of a different color scene from The Wizard of Oz, where the horse turns yellow and I believe purple and red, or maybe it's orange and purple and red. Anyway, um, that scene has like every color in the rainbow in it. And uh, to that end, I have mixed up every color in the rainbow. Um, I will pull you down on the canvas and then we'll go over colors and things of that nature. Okay? Cool. gonna pour this down as dirty a dirty 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 dog some tin. Yay. And then I'm going to add the rest of this iridescent white. So I'm going to go with this big boy first because if I do the little one first by the time I get to this one I'll be tired. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna straight pour. Cool, cool. Here we go.
This is drips from 8 million other paintings. I'm gonna pour this around. I'm barely long enough. With a level three canvas. You know, I always say I like level twos, and I do, but not when you've got. Um, I'm gonna say there's probably 70 ounces of paint on here. That's a lot of paint. green on it it's all right it's gonna get tilted off anyway and i just want it to flow there we go trying to impress me pulling out all the stops making my dizzy when you tell me what you want i just wanted you to see me never thought you noticed Thought that you should know I'm already so never let me go. You had me at a la 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 about your game I just wanted you to see me Thought that you should know I'm already sold So never let me go You ready at all?
I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> As we used to say in high school, well, we couldn't curse. <laughs> it's exponentially cool. Like, I don't know what that word means, but I think my friend Boyd made it up. He was always making up words and things. Okay, wet results. I'm gonna have to do this from two sides of the table, but here we are with our lovely little sort of a reflection rainbow into some craziness. That that you see right here is that brulee. It just all kind of went to one place. That's okay. And there's our, look at all those cells that came up via the base coat nice at least it was a pretty color it was the right color here we go we have all kinds of lines and cells look at those they're so cute cells and lines and lines and cells it's very pretty i think if it would have been if my paint would have been a little thinner first of all it'd be way more squiggly but i'd probably have more bolder cells I am okay with that. Um, holy moly. My back getting tired already. <laughs> Here we go. Back toward the middle. There's that big old patch of white and silver that I had kind of hoped some cells would pop up through, but seems to be being a little recalcitrant. So I'm going to walk us over to the other side of the table. Here's a lovely cut. <laughs> All right, here we go on this side. Look at that. That's so cool. And there's our lovely, yeah, it's about where we left off. But anyway, we have some really vivid, pretty stuff going on here. Uh, yeah. I like it. I think it's very cool. I can't wait until it's dry so I can take it outside because, you know, we're not doing this any favors by taking these little chunks. But it is pretty neat. Look at those cells. There's little cells everywhere. They're just little. There's another band of supreme coolness. Oh, goodness. There's some bigger cells that tried to escape. Bad, bad cells. And there we go. That is our wet results. I wish I could get the whole thing for you, but I just, uh, I'm just so tall. So anyway. And here is the dried results of my Fluid of Oz collab. <sighs> she dried up nice. She's got lots of little teeny tiny pearls, lots of beautiful lines and cells. It's really cloudy outside today and it's starting to sprinkle. So this might be sort of a short one. Um, I really like the way the colors dried, true to the color on the bottle, and they're all represented beautifully here. My horse of a different color inspo seemed to be right on point. Because we've got all the different colors right here for you today. That's that brulee right there. That's beautiful. I really like it. I think it turned out very well. It's very pretty overall. And uh, there we go. Ain't she big and pretty? That's a 36 by 36. 
Thanks so much for hanging out with me and watching this whole process. See you next time. Stick around. Darren Nixon's up next.